Hey, Internet Buddy, how's it going? It's Spencer here. Listen, thanks for joining uh, me here and congratulations in investing in your advanced training. So uh, I'm going to teach you in this advanced training video how to quickly set up a squeeze page, also known as an email uh, collector page, which basically allows someone to put in their email if they're interested in getting something, pardon me, something cool in exchange for putting in their email. So. What I'm going to do is I'm in my clickfunnels.com account. I'll include this link under this video. So if you would like an account here, I encourage you to get a free trial and uh, use this software. It's very easy to use to create very high converting thank you pages. So in this particular video, I'm going to basically show you how to create an opt-in page. And uh, I'm also probably going to show you how to create a thank you page as well. So, um, or I might do that in the next video. I have not decided yet. I'd like to keep this video short and to the point so that you are entertained and uh, getting a little bit of um, efficiency as well as some entertainment so once you're inside of ClickFunnels and you sign up for an account all you gotta do is go to clickfunnels.com and I have uh, my shameless affiliate link probably under this I appreciate it if you click down the referral link under this video if you do want to sign up and uh, get an account over here so that you can create a great uh, funnel okay and actually use this training I will also and that being said I will also uh, give you a free alternative uh, templates for, for setting up an HTML or other likewise very simple uh, funnel so that you can in fact not have to spend what this costs and I think it's free for 14 days and then I think it's $97 a month but if you're using the software it will pay for itself anyway uh, let's get started so what we're going to do here is we're going to essentially click add new funnel and we're going to, our goal is to collect emails so we're going to choose this one here and we're going to put uh, advanced demo one walk through and then I don't need a funnel group because it uh, I just don't need one I'm not trying to be super organized right now so let's just go through and allow this to create building the funnel now and uh, we'll let that load okay there it goes so this is a two-step funnel that we it has an opt-in page and a thank you page which is pretty cool so we have an opt-in and we have a thank you let me go over here okay okay da 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 uh, so what we're going to basically do is pick first a template and we'll do something very, very easy, very simple. Uh, that's going to be very, very impo impossible to have brain damage. So what we'll do is we'll just select, for example, uh, this template here. Okay. So again, the goal of what we're doing is to create an opt-in page so that when we buy traffic later to build a list, uh, you can basically have a place to send that traffic. Okay. So uh, what we're going to do is now that we've selected our opt-in page let's click edit page and it is loading the editor so let's think of some super basic copy right here so discuss this says discover the number one check for doubling conversions that's not what I want to go with so let's say something to the effect of um, let's give them a compelling reason to give us their email discover the simple simplest way to make a full time income online Discovered the it's so easy. The the fastest way to make a full time income online, and then over here I'll put no experience needed, um, beginner friendly. Okay, so enter your email just here. Download the free report today. So if we click on the blue button, all I'm doing is interacting here. It says text. We're gonna click um, instant. What do you say? Instant, instant, instant. Um, instant access to your so if we're giving away a report we could say report or PDF download what I normally do is I have usually a series of offers that I offer people instant access to your guide you can say get instant I just put instant access like oops spelled instant wrong instant access so I'm just gonna put that get or let's put farther more on all caps get instant access okay so this page is already done how crazy is that all we have to do is actually publish it and it's done there's only one thing we have to do left is just connect your autoresponder account which i'm going to get into probably in the next video uh but let me show you what that looks like so it says enter your email address here and what you would do here is click on email up here and then autoresponder integration it says it's not yet connected so i have what's called an aweber account and i'll show you how that works uh later and i have um what you do is once you integrate it which is super easy to do uh, all you do is basically click on integrate existing form and click a list to add so then I would just put something like uh, I would create a new list obviously but I would put the list name here and then it would say it's connected so in, in this event um, since it's training I'm not gonna interject to drive traffic to this page I can save it like that so save it and then um, uh, what we're gonna do 
is now that that's saved, we're gonna go and click on exit because this page is done. And that was very fast, wasn't it? We got that done in like two minutes. So next thing we're gonna do is click on the thank you. We gotta have a page for them to go to, uh, to when, when we thank them basically. So on this particular page, there's something unique I like to do to make good money on my traffic and doing my list building. It's called creating a, an ad, an, an internal ad page or a click generator page. And I'm just gonna basically show you a super simple layout of what that'll look like. So let's keep things simple and uh, go with this one. Select template here. And now that this is rolling, you can see up here we got the opt in page, we got the thank you page. Let's click edit page. So now all we want to do, our goal of this page is they opted in. Now they're on our email list and they're going to be getting a lot of cool emails that. We'll teach them how they can start an online business to make some money. You know, I obviously usually teach the email ad business model. So that is my focus. And that's really what I would, the type of material I'd be giving to them. So I would basically say something up here. Attention, I like that. I'll say, uh, click on the buttons below to get your, uh, to get the, to get the info you need to start making serious money and uh, this does not look good in all caps and the font size is too too big so let me just edit this by going on settings uh, let me click here so if I highlight this I can center it bold it underline it link it uh, sections rows columns elements Settings, uh, click funnels. What am I looking for? Um, I could actually just make this easier uh, by probably, as you can see, I'm still using click funnels. It's a wonderful software and I've built a couple of funnels in it. All right, let's save it. Just to simplify right now, I mean, honestly, it's like something in settings you gotta go to, I think it's global text and font settings. With this particular template, I don't know if you can easily change this particular font size. Like for example, I know I can influence the font for a lot of these. Uh, one thing I'm going to do is, uh, oopsie daisy, download headline subtext, columns, rows, sections, uh, email. We already, we already talked about that. We don't need email here. So background settings. It's got, okay. It's gotta be here. Custom CSS. Usually like with the squeeze page, like we just did the opt-in page is very straightforward to check the, um, the, let me just pause this and quickly find the correct spot and I'll be right back. Okay, and we are back, and this is actually very easy. I must have just slipped my mind. So whenever you want to change the font stuff, you just click on, uh, you move your cursor around and drag it until a cog wheel pops up. So for instance, I want to influence this one. You click on this little wheel, and then it shows you the font size right here. So we can just make this smaller so that looks better. Okay, that's a little too small. Uh, Yes, okay, and I kind of like it big now, weirdly enough. So uh, what we can do is now down, do you want to learn how to make million dollars online? That's kind of hypey. So I'm gonna say, uh, click on the buttons below. I don't even want this. I'm gonna keep my page even simple. Click on the buttons below to get the info you need to start making serious money. That sounds pretty straightforward. So for this particular button, I want them to just click on it and um, I want them to be opened up in a new tab that contains an offer and you get paid when they click on that button when you follow my strategy. So click here to download now, click here to, uh, you know, discover more. Click here, uh, let's be more specific. Click here, no, screw the click here. Obviously they're gonna click here. Discover how to start an online. Okay, let's just say the three step beginner course for online, online business that's too too big but what I can do is probably influence the um, text size yes so let me just make here we go now it's I just knocked it down once so three step going on cool so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna like just duplicate the crap out of some of these so we're gonna have one column block from the plus sign and when you do this stuff yourself it gets super easy so just click on the cog wheel um, and then we're gonna add a button to this and uh, da, 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 da. so add new elements, sorry. And then we're gonna click on uh, button, there it is, add the page, there we go. So this button's a lot smaller than that one, obviously. Uh, I bet you there's a good way to in change that though. So if we look at text, the font size, I see how to change that. 
uh, the button width it says fluid let's just say fill width there we go that was easy uh, again you just got to read <laughs> as long as you can read and you don't have to be a coder I'm not a programmer so uh, I wonder if there's a simple way to duplicate this uh, you can just follow the yellow brick road and keep doing the same thing so at button at the page there we go click on the button and then just just go back to settings and then click on the thing we just clicked on which wherever the heck it was uh, Oops, that was a full center fit. Uh, did, I, did I click on the right thing? I think I'm going too fast. Okay, uh, let's go to the... Um, it's funny, I'm making fun of myself now because I just was explaining how easy this is. You just got to read, right? Well, all you got to do is, in fact, read. So I'm just got to click on the right things. Where Where is the size? Okay, no, that's not the right thing. Borders, time delay. Uh, good Lord, where, where did it go? Um image position repeat it horizontally no okay that's not it uh my goodness give me one moment i'm going to just go ahead and duplicate my steps so i don't we're back we are back and i'm going to show you something i just discovered so when you click on the cog wheel when you click on this little settings wheel like i was doing you get a lot of you get different options okay you get different options so when you click on the button itself you get a different set of options that's why i got confused and i'm glad i did so when you click on the button it's no longer fluid. We want to click the width again. Okay, and let's save our progress super quick, uh, and then let's, let's just add some stuff. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna get rid of this by putting it in the trash can if it allows me to. It doesn't look like it wants to let me do that. Oh, all I gotta do is click on this. Boom. Get rid of that, and then scroll over this. Sometimes it's touchy. Like I see how to get rid of it. Boom. There. Okay. Okay, so uh, and then I just want them. I'm gonna add like five buttons here. I'm gonna put like something like you know. So click on the blue button to get the the proper settings, and then you just gotta slowly. It's muscle memory, but you really just gotta kind of slow down and look where you need to put your cursor to start changing the button. Um, free access to business beginner course. Okay, and then we come back here, and we say um, how how to build a list quickly explained okay and then what we do is we actually just repeat this process a couple more times and put links in here of our people that we're doing business with and uh, we'll save our progress and then you can basically start getting some seriously good um, conversions building your list making stuff happen so what I'm doing now is I'm just repeating the process I'll do this for one more example button add to page add the page uh, blah, da, 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 da. now follow my own stuff click here Click on fill with, then download now, and we'll just say something like, begin making a full-time income in three simple steps. And don't worry if you can't think of something to say, uh, just Google something to get ideas to for your button names. Okay, so we're gonna save this. And again, we would change the URL. The URL action is like, we would go to like, you know, google.com. And we wanna set this to new tab, so they open a new tab. So save the settings. Uh, this particular button, we're gonna click on the blue, and then we're gonna put this. We're gonna have them go to YouTube.com or just like Yahoo.com, right? And they open in a new tab again, so they don't leave the page. Completely save it. Uh, and then we're gonna go here, and click on the settings wheel again, and then we're gonna click on the uh, done. Uh, I, 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 not the settings wheel, the blue thing, because that'll screw you up. Okay. Bing.com. Okay. And then open it in a new tab. Save. Wonderful. Let's go back and exit. And um, now we have a full funnel. That took us like uh, less than 15 minutes to set up. And that was with me stopping to explain some things. So how cool is that? So if we click on preview uh, the page or just preview the actual page, here we go. You'll see, you'll see the funnel here. Discover the fastest way to make a full-time income online. Now let's say, for example, I wanted to show you something. Let's say we wanted to make this go up a little bit, like push this up. I'm going to show you how to do that because that's good to know. Uh, edit page real quick and then we'll save it it's in the padding section so we're gonna click on just uh, settings I think give me one minute to find it so I don't waste time pause so what you need to do basically if you want to influence the, the where this is from the page with this particular template I think it has it's slightly limited in that you can't actually push this particular template up I may be mistaken about that but I don't think I am so we're gonna scroll over the blue oh you know what maybe it's the green and then click on the green bar and click settings and then, yes, yeah, see how it says top right here at 40? If we slide this over, it brings it up a little. So, uh, yeah, so 40 is just, just for like mobile devices and stuff. 
Okay. So if we were gonna if we wanted to go down, we would move this to the right. This is so it's distance from the top of the page, right? Boom. Or boom. So now I want it all the way up. So that's why I wanted to show you that. So basically you click save and um, you'd want to scroll over the green. You gotta just move, play with your cursor, scroll over the green, click on the cogwheel. Okay, so let's go back and let's test this page. Let's exit this page real quick. And uh, let's go to it and then opt in. And you'll see when it's correctly set up with our Aweber account, it is uh, it's good to go. So let's do a quick test seven at gmail.com. You can see it got pushed up, but get into the access. Let's see if the yellow brick road is gonna work. Okay, great, so it went to our thank you page, got added to the list. We click on this and we go to Bing, that worked. Boom, Yahoo, boom. And okay, so that's how you would build a really cool funnel and a few simple steps and get your start at making some money, okay? So I'm gonna end this video here and then we'll, we'll pick it up on the next video. Spencer out, I'll see you later.